<laughs> well, in South Philly, um, there is the <laughs> for whatever reason, machetes are like your your machetes and baseball bats are like the weapon of choice. I guess you keep it behind your door for for you know okay, if there's an yeah. issue. Makes sense. Be warned. <laughs> so shortly after my tenants move in, um, it's two women. They they soon afterwards got married, and and they uh, they're. The, there was an argument over a parking spot outside. Okay. Um, a 70 year old man and like a 40 or 50 year old guy. And the 70 year old guy tosses his coffee in the younger guy's face, you know, because he because he scraped his car in the parking, getting into the parking spot, and he always does that. And then the younger guy, the 40, 50 year old guy, goes home, grabs a machete, and starts swinging it around. And then the older guy like went to block his head, um, and the guy cut through, cut off two of his fingers that were still connected right here. Right, and this then is like real cut, estate story. And then and then cut his the, the old guy's head. So then the old guy gets the young guy down on the ground and starts pummeling him um, with his bloody stump uh, of a hand. So then my tenant, one of my tenants, Colleen, who's also a, um, she's, she at the time, she, or she had been a firefighter and uh, worked for like the ER, um, EMT. EMT. A medic? Okay. Yeah. So she's telling Tom, who's on the, who's beating the guy up, she's like, you're going to get in trouble. You better go take yourself to the hospital. And, um, and then... The, uh, after he left, I think, I'm pretty sure Colleen's the one who picked up his fingers and gave them to the police officer to, um, to make sure that they got to Tom. So and, they could use them again. Yeah, so right? they could reattach. Okay. Um, so I had heard this from another neighbor. I didn't know who, what picked up the fingers or anything like that. Uh, my neighbor had texted me and said, oh my God, did you hear about the machete story? And I said, no. And then I ran into my tenants a couple of weeks later at our local bar, Bomb Bombs. It's amazing. Um, and they, uh, I said, I thought that they were going to call me to try to get out of their lease because they had just moved in. So I'm like, I see them. I'm like, oh shit, they're going to ask to leave. I'm never going to be able to rent this place again because of this. <laughs> and it turns out. Because of the neighbors. Because of the machete attack. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it turns out um, Colleen, one of the women, was the one who picked up the fingers and helped the old guy. And and they love it. They love the block. They love the neighborhood. They've been there since 2014. So is that um, on applications? That could be a system. <laughs> like, it's on, how do you feel about it? Are you willing to? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, so um, ever since having them, they've they've been very rewarding. Um, uh, Colleen's in the, in the Philadelphia Fire Department. And then we bought another wow. house together where we have another couple um, – where our other, one of the other tenants is also in the fire department. So we've been really lucky in having good tenants, but we pick, um, we purposely under rent our properties so that we have multiple applicants to choose from. So we can just go with whoever feels the best. 